Warning! The following video will have a ton of curse words and may contain tobacco use. Viewer discretion is advised. They're all, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. A lot of uh, bad homeless problems all around. Alright, so that's all the news I got for you. Moving on. <laughs> Alright, to sports and stuff. Everyone knows the Super Bowl is coming. It's this weekend. I'm kind of excited. But, we've got some juicy news surrounding the Super Bowl. Um, Patrick Mahomes makes a pricey promise to the Chiefs teammates if they keep their 2024 Super Bowl. Super Bowl a Vegas business trip. This is him right there at the uh, at the Vegas. Um, they had like a little uh, media day thing. Yeah. Travis Kelsey was there, and he uh, he was there to address the engagement rumors. So as Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's relationship continues to heat up. Fans are hoping for a wedding bell, for wedding bells in the future. However, as he gears up for Super Bowl, uh, what's that, 53? The Kansas City Chiefs tight end somewhat addressed engagement rumors during a press conference on Monday. I'm focused on getting this ring, he said in, in reference to a Super Bowl championship ring. That's all the focus is on my mind right now. So now. Guess not. All right, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, so there's some news in the basketball world. Clay Thompson's not happy, and also Doc Rivers was named the All Star East coach. It only had like three games. I'm about to play a video of what Shaq had to say about it. <laughs> that is ridiculously bad. Uh, it, it really is. Um, well, he's just going to get some money, that's for sure, and a ring. You know, it's one of these quirky things. I think there should be a rule somehow that someone else does it <laughs> other than me. Maybe I'll send my staff and I'll go on vacation. And that is Doc Rivers reacting to the fact that he is going to be the all-star game head coach for the East. That is, of course, because Joe Mazzulla was the coach last year. You cannot coach back-to-back -back years, and Doc Rivers is the guy. His current record with the Bucks is 1-3. and three. The coaches slipped that in. You can't coach back-to-back -back years yeah. so that they can go on vacation back-to-back. That... -back. That was a good little rule change. What do you think of the fact that he's coaching the All-Star game? Man, it's, like he said, it's one of those quirky things. Accidental, circumstantial, but I like his response. You know, at least he's not, oh, I should beat, but yeah, he's, he's respectable. Doc's been around the game a long time, and he, he knows that he didn't deserve that. The Doc way, so you know, he said the right thing, and you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's going to be honorable of him to get Adrian the money and the yes. all that stuff, but there's nothing to get up in arms about. It's not one of those things that, you know, just happened accidentally. I, I think. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know. That's a, that, that, that tells you a lot of how much the coaches care about the All-Star games. Well, not just the coaches, well, it, it, a lot of people. It shows you how a lot of people feel about the All-Star games nowadays. It's just a little vacation, yeah. I mean, is it, that's, how, that's how it's kind of supposed to be. Um... It's more for a, uh, a player. It's more a player thing, I guess. Because, because you, you know, as players, they're more, um, you know, their legacy is more derived on numbers and how many All Star games and shit like that. I guess coaches do it. I don't know. Let's watch the video with Clay not happy. I cannot wait for our trade deadline special on Thursday. Is that taking give you? 
He doesn't like it. I think we should make it six hours. I think we should make it a full day. ESPN. How many of those hours are you going to work it? I, I've been trying to negotiate it down, but right now I, I've negotiated it to four hours. Oh, okay. I, I appreciate <laughs> that, Richard. Uh, Mike Golden State to be one of the teams that is active at our trade deadline. Oh, Richard. They are you in beautiful, bold place. man. They were in Brooklyn last night with a trio of Steph, Clay, Draymond. They picked up their 500th win together. Only the ninth trio ever to do that, right? So here is how it happened, Richard. Watch Jonathan Kaminga here. Posts up. Mm. Finds Fuck the, the highlights. Curry. I want to see what Clay said. Yeah, that stuff, so. What are they talking about? You ain't played a finish the game? I got a best game five of the finals. Who the f*** Well, I haven't asked that yet, but I will now. Huh? I said, I haven't asked it yet, but I Oh, you. Uh, I mean, you obviously didn't post that. That's obviously going to be a story. I mean, that's all good. Yeah, these guys play great. He played great. He beat Jonathan. And they we need to on Is this is this an adjustment period for you a little bit? I mean, he's done it a few games, obviously. Yeah. Kidding me? No problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of the best players. It's not hard for anybody. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. So this was the fifth time Clay was subbed out in the fourth quarter and did not play in the final five minutes of clutch time under Steve Kerr. For oh, them, shit. they have come this season, and then the other came in January of 2020. Brian, do you see what he's, I mean, basically, he in front of us is coming to terms with the fact that he's on the downside of he's, you know, Do you think he just now realized that in that moment? Well, I, I think this is from the outside looking in, just from the outside looking in, right? And I, I've never been in your guys' shoes. What do you guys think? You guys think Clay's going to the Lakers? <laughs> oh man, I, I love I love these uh, I love these uh, NBA trade talks and all that shit. It's always the uh, it's always like dramatic and it, they always end up doing the dumbest thing. Yo, like and subscribe, and I love you long time. Uh.